Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 13th, 2019. This is my 27th episode about C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation. In this episode, we will learn how to use background worker in Windows Presentation Foundation programming. For more information about background worker class, please double click this link. We will use this background worker class in this episode. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2019, go to File, New, Project, Select Language, C Sharp, Platform, Windows, Project Type, Desktop. Select Windows Presentation Foundation Application .NET Framework this template. Click Next. Project name will be Background Worker. Solution name will be Background Worker Solution. I will select .NET Framework 4.6. Click Create. Go to View. Select Toolbox and click this pin, drag text box, and we will rename it text box ARG1. Save it, and you can modify the text, text box text to 1. Save. Then drag and drop another text box and rename the text box ARG2. And I will scroll a little bit here, text box 11. Save all and drag and drop a button and rename it. The contents of this button will be compute. Save all. Select the compute and double click it. Then event handler will be added like this. Now scroll up here using system threading. Using system component model. Now scroll down here background worker background worker new background worker right click the project properties default namespace Talk play button. Hit enter. Click save all. Now close it. app.gemmer. Modify it. Talk play button. The namespace also here. Now save it. Double click app.gemmer. Modify the namespace to talk play button. Also main.gemmer. Scroll up, modify the namespace to talk play pawn. Also here to namespace talk play pawn. Now save all. Main windows .cs. Change the namespace to talk play pawn. Then here private. Now control F5. Now it works like this. We will create a class worker parameter public int arg1 arg2 worker parameter int a int b arg1 a arg2 
b we will create a function void additional initialization here private void worker to work object sender to work event arg e we will add another function private void worker completed object sender run worker completed event arg e in this function background sorry i have to copy cut and paste it here background worker to work new to work event handler worker to work background worker run worker completed new run worker completed event handler worker completed now copy this function copy and paste it here in button click worker parameter args new worker parameter arg1 arg2 int arg1 int pass text box arg1 text int arg2 int pass text box arg2 text try catch exception ex message box show ex message background worker run worker async args scroll up it should be public fixed like this in worker to function worker parameter parameter e argument we need to do typecasting worker parameter thread sleep sleep for five seconds make this thread sleep five seconds e result parameter alg1 plus parameter alg2 now here message box show e result to string computed result after calling this function button is enabled false and when the job is completed here button is enabled true now press ctrl f5 so if we click compute this button is disabled after five seconds we see the result like this if i click ok this button is re-enabled if i enter two and three click this button this button is disabled the computation is done in background after five seconds the result is displayed click ok in my next episode i will talk about the thread pool in dotnet framework i will upload complete source code to my website c sharp dot talk play fun 
www.fightertime.com. By the time you watch this video, you can click this link and download complete source code. If you unzip the downloaded file, you can find complete source code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.